Bianca and in today's video I'll be sharing my New Year's resolutions for 2024. I made a list of all of my resolutions and I am very excited to share with everyone. I feel motivated and I know I can accomplish all of them, hopefully. Also I can't believe it's already 2024. <sighs> Why does time fly by so fast? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and turn on the notifications and let's get this video up to 15 likes and let's get started. So my first resolution is to make my channel into a sewing channel. It took me forever to find my niche and it was very hard for me to find it and identify what I want to post, but I finally found it and figured it out. I'm very passionate about sewing and I want to share all of my creations with the world. And also sewing is very popular on YouTube. I subscribe I subscribe to a lot of YouTubers that do sewing. I'm still going to upload shorts about my sewing. I really enjoy making them and they usually get a lot of views. I want to be known for my sewing and my paternal grandmother taught me how to sew. I'm very excited to transform this channel into a channel about sewing. My second New Year's resolutions is to upload more long-term content like longer videos. I've been uploading a lot of shorts but not enough shorts and I really miss making longer videos like 14 to 15 minute videos. Even though YouTube shorts are popular and there aren't a lot of long-term videos anymore these days but long-term videos are going to be here forever and I also want to make long-term sewing videos but I still will be making sewing shorts. I have one coming up and I'm very excited to show you guys if I'm going to be making a dress. Before YouTube shorts were available to make I used to upload long videos all the time like I uploaded comedy skits, I uploaded Q&A's, I uploaded travel diaries and a lot more and I want to get back into that. YouTube shorts are nice but long-term videos are just as nice as YouTube shorts. I want to post more vlogs, travel diaries and and expand my sewing into longer content like I want to make longer videos about my sewing and show the whole process instead of cramming it up into a short. Overall, I miss making long-term content and I'm really excited to, to make them again. My third New Year's resolution is to drop down to 170 pounds or lose about 20 to 30 pounds. So in 2022, that year was a very stressful year for me. It wasn't a good year for me because of personal problems and I gained a lot of weight and stress causes weight gain. So it was a stressful year and I gained a lot of weight. And then also during the holidays, my grandmother passed away, my paternal grandmother, and it was stressful too. So I gained weight too, but not a lot, but it's just that Back in 2021, I used to be around 170, but now I am around 191. But before my grandmother died, I was 185. And I really want to get down to 170 again, like I was in 2021. And I also want to eat healthier too, and I need to exercise. I haven't been exercising like I used to, but I did do walking today for an for one hour and five minutes. I'm very proud of myself. It's a start though. So I was discussing how much weight I should lose with my aunt and she said, since you're tall Bianca, I think your ideal weight should be 150 something. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, 170 is nice, but it's just that I want to be healthy and fit and I want to look good for the summer. And then due to the weight gain in 2022, I, I have a belly and uh, uh, I hate it. And it will be nice if I lose that belly fat. I do drink water. Water helps with weight loss and maintaining a healthy weight. And I also want to eat more healthier like salads, fruits, vegetables, salmon. I do eat salmon often. So it would be nice if I lose a few pounds and be at a healthy weight and 
I, I aspire to go back to 170 like I was in 2021. That would be really nice and I would feel so much better about myself. My next goal is to save money for summer vacation. So every year me and my family travel during the summer and for this year we're still deciding where we want to go but I would like to have a little dough when I go on vacation so I can spend during vacation. Like, I'm a saver. I'm really good at saving money. Saving money is fun, by the way. Ever since I bought my iPhone XR in 2019, I've been committed to saving ever since. So my goal is to save around $3,000. I want to have some cash, physical money, and I also want some money in my account on my debit card and I think every year for vacation I'm going to buy fabric wherever I go and I can buy some nice jewelry there I can buy some purses I can buy clothing I really want to have something to buy something nice on vacation I love traveling to places and and collecting souvenirs ever since I bought my iPhone 15 Pro Max last year in September it got me thinking, what should I save up to next? And it had me thinking for weeks and a few months. And I was like, I got it. I'll save up for a summer vacation. And I think I can save a lot. So wish me luck to reach up to three grand. My next New Year's resolution is to sew more dresses and create evening gowns. Like, I have a lot of dresses. I mostly make dresses and tops, but I feel like, I personally feel like I don't have a lot of dresses. I do have a lot of dresses, but I don't know. And I also want to make evening dresses. Like, for example, if I ever go on a date, I would like to have a fancy dress. Like last year, I made a red sparkling evening dress, but I would like to make more of them. And then for my sewing plans, I have a lot of dresses. I bought plenty of dress patterns from Joann's and on Etsy, and I'm very excited to use them. So my first project of 2024 is that I'm making a Neapolitan ice cream inspired color block dress, which is an upcoming video, so stay tuned and look forward to that. And I'm almost done with it. And then after that, I'm going to make another dress, but it's a pink sundress. Back to the evening dresses, Alexandra Louise, one of the one of the YouTubers that I subscribe to, she makes evening dresses and ball gowns from the Barbie movies, Disney, Anastasia, and she inspired me. And I was like, wow, I want to make myself ball gowns and evening dresses. Like, for example, if I... I will probably not do this, but if I ever go to, probably not, to a red carpet event, I would love to have a lovely floor-length gown to wear. And maybe if I go to a fancy New Year's party, I can make myself a fancy dress. Sewing projects always get me excited. It really means a lot to me. Next up, I want to spend less money on food. Like... I buy a lot of fast food like Wendy's, Blaze Pizza, Domino's, The Habit, and I mostly spend my money, besides spending on fabric and sewing patterns and jewelry, I spend my money on food and sweets. And I can't help it, and I would really like to limit that because I really want to save money for the summer vacation. So after I get dismissed from my college classes, sometimes, I go to Wendy's and buy myself lunch and it's just really hard because I like food. I love munching on fast food and whenever I eat pizza or burgers or sweets, it makes me feel good. I feel safe inside and it's just very satisfying and I also want to learn how to eat healthier and like more salads. Like, I really want to eat salads again. Like, I used to eat a lot of salads in 2019 and 2021 when I was super fit, but I don't do that anymore. But I really want to get back into it. So I would like to spend less money on junk food, and if I do, I can lose a lot more weight. My last 2024 New Year's resolution is to continue going to college. I go to a community college, 
and I am a college student and I'm an art major and I want to get an associate's degree in art, a fine arts degree. I usually take two classes each semester, but I think I want to try taking three. If I squeeze more classes into a semester, the quicker I'll graduate. And I think it's estimated that I might graduate in 2025 or 2026, but I'm aiming to graduate in 2025. College is fun and last semester I took marine biology and an online class which is called anthropology, magic, witchcraft, and religion and that class was so much fun like I learned a lot and magic is really interesting. If I had a superpower I would love to have flight, ruby rose's semblance from ruby, and air manipulation. So for this spring semester this year I am taking a US history class and unfortunately a math class. I hate math, but it's it, but it's on my student planner. My student planner is a planner where I have to take certain classes in order to graduate. So wish me luck on graduating in 2025 or 2026 because graduating is one of my life goals and I think it would make me feel really good and I'm just very excited and I really want to have a graduation party. So yeah, wish me luck and let me know in the comments below, do you go to college and what are you pursuing? And that's all of my 2024 resolutions. The end! Well that is it for this 2024 New Year's resolutions. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe, it will make my heart happy. Once again, give this video up to 15 likes, subscribe, turn on the notifications. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later.